Hey guys, this is Kim from This Darn Chicks Designs. I got onto my embroidery, um, which is called the Urban Threads, and I was able to actually pull up this little design called Witch's Brew. Now, this Witch's Brew, which is actually um, embroidered out onto a faux piece of fabric. Um, you can get these rolls over at Hobby Lobby. Um, they're they're kind of cool to use for many different things. Um, however, I have found out when you use these because it is faux, okay, you wanna be really careful because when you're embroidering, it will pucker a little bit. So, you know, in that case, so, you know, since it does, then what we wanna do afterwards is go ahead and kind of iron that down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just take it out of our hoop. I didn't put any pill on on it just because it didn't need it because it actually has a back to it that's kind of like a flock back. So we're not really gonna need that. However, um, these, when you get this done, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to cut out the sides where it's aligned all the way around. So we're gonna go ahead and we are going to cut these sides out here. Now you can use regular shears or you can use your, your uh, pinking shears. If you use a pinking shears, this is kind of like what it would look like. It's kind of up to you on what you want to do. I don't care too much for the pinking shears, but that's just me. I'd rather just go ahead and just cut it out all the way around. So what you're gonna do is you wanna cut out as close as you can to the design all the way around. Okay, because afterwards we're going to put our grommets in. Now, this is actually going to go on a old wine bottle or a Bacardi bottle um, because the design is so big. I mean, you could put it on old beer bottles or you could put it on, I mean, in just any, any type of bottle. So what I'm going to do is just kind of cut around here. And I found this little design online between one that was on Etsy where this lady was making these bottles and they had like little eyes on them and stuff. And then, so what I did is I kind of put the two together. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna cut around here and this is gonna be like actual, the actual patch for the outside of the bottle, okay? So, and then after that, what we're going to do is, I'll show you how to wrap it around the bottle first and then I'll probably have to come back with like a second YouTube video to show you how to make one of those bottles because the bottles are really cool. They're like black and then you put eyes on them and all that, but for today, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to do this patch. So once you go ahead and you cut around it, get rid of all your scraps, okay? You're gonna wanna go ahead and turn it over this patch is really cool. I, I really like this, which is brew. So you're gonna go ahead and turn it over. Take your iron to the back of it and you wanna kinda get it as smooth as possible. Cause like I said, when you're embroidering, sometimes when you're embroidering on faux like this, this faux leather, it wants to scrunch up a little bit. So it will actually kinda smooth out into place once you go ahead and you use your actual, let me do it this way, um, your actual iron here. So let's go ahead and do that. Kind of make it, you know, get it as flat as possible. Okay, so once you're done ironing this out, okay, it's kind of really cool, you know. It's got that little webbing background to it and everything, but once you're done with it, what you're gonna do is you're gonna need six grommets, okay? So we got six little grommets here. You're gonna need a leather, puncher okay and it just depends on where you want to set it at like I try to set it for one of these holes that's just a little bit wider and if it don't go through then you just keep going let's do because sometimes it gets kind of impact there just kind of go through here and just try to make a hole if you can and so these little holes will start to pop through here. So you're gonna go through and you're gonna make a hole through each one of these little, little holes on the side, okay? So what I like to do is once I make a hole, 
and I see that it's actually popped through, I just go ahead and just cut that area. Just get it out of the way, okay? And then I go on with the other holes that I have. And press it down here. I kind of move it around just a little bit. So it kind of punches that through. The softer the vinyl, um, kind of the harder it is sometimes for these hole punches. So you really gotta move them around a little bit. So there's that one. And then you're just gonna wanna do that for all of them. Pull that out there. Okay. And then you're gonna go to the other side. Same thing. Just punch a hole in it. Okay, kind of move it around a little bit. Do the other one the same way. And I know these don't look sharp, but I swear they are. They're very sharp. Okay. Once you're done, go ahead and in with your scissors. Kind of clip that out of the way. And it doesn't have to be neat because guess what? It's going on a bottle. So, and it's for Halloween. So I don't really see too many items that are just neatly placed for a Halloween. Okay, so here we go. So we got this right here, okay? Each one of these are actually punched out to the side. Now, the next thing you wanna do is put your grommet in. So you take your grommet, stick it through this little hole here Okay, see that right there. Oop, I'm gonna try to not get it too close to you. There we go. Okay, so I stick this little grommet. You're gonna stick it right through this hole here. All right, and then you're gonna take your tool, your grommet tool, and just press it on in there. So it gives you that really cool old look to it with a grommet. And you just do that with every one of these. Take it, put it in here. Now where I cut it out, I may have cut it, I made a, may have made it a little bit too big. So I may have to pull it over to the side there just to get all these in. And stick it through this hole here. And just use your little grommet tool here. What that does is just kind of press it down on in to that area. Oh, see what I just did? See that? Pull it out. Stick another one in, okay? Well, it's probably because I made that hole just a little bit big there. Okay, there's that one. Let's go ahead and get a couple more of these. And we're gonna put these together. And then once we're done, then we will start with the jute, which is the string that goes with it, okay? There we go. And then I'm gonna to have to get a couple more of these just because. Now this is from Sewology. So you can get these over at, um, at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, wherever, Amazon wherever you decide to go ahead and get these. Um, they're the little, I call them grommets, but they're little eyelets is what they are. And so you just wanna go ahead and just take it and push it through, okay? Again, kind of line up those little holes there, okay? See how perfect that comes out? All right, and then we gotta do another one. So like I said, you got six of these to do just because of the embroidery pattern. This embroidery pattern um, was off of Urban Threads. So once you get this done, there's your patch, okay? It's already been sewed front to back. Now, it's up to you on how you wanna deal with it and how you wanna work with it. Now, what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of jute, okay? So, I'm going to probably take this and we're gonna cut it 
down, okay? I just clip that side there and cut it down. And then what we're gonna do is pull from the sides. So you just kind of pull it down just so you're not using a whole huge thing of jute. <clears throat> you wanna go ahead and just kind of pull off the little, little pieces of jute from side to side, okay? Because like I said, we don't want this project to be perfect. We want it to be cute, but we don't want it to be perfect, you know? So what you're gonna do is you're going to go through, all right? And you can kind of go through the back here and each one of these, I'm gonna pull it from side to side to the back. Put another, put another grommet right there. I may have, I may have dropped that one out by accident here. I'm trying to mess with stuff. Let's stick it through this hole again, okay? Like I said, I might have, have cut the hole just a little bit too big. So be careful with that um, when you're using the um, the leather hole punches because in here there's different ones you can go from the small the medium the largest um, so just be careful about how large that you put that hole in okay so back to this so you're gonna string it through take each piece all right if it's a little bit too wide at the end put that in there okay String that through here. Okay, and it will take just a little bit just to do that. I may have to go ahead and pull that piece again. Get that out of there. Kind of rub it back and forth between your fingers. You should be able to get it through then. Okay. And then you're gonna to wanna to do this for each each one of these, okay? Okay, so now, once you've got every one of these through, okay, each one of them goes through and they're gonna go through the side because we're gonna tie it around our actual bottle, okay? Before you do that, you gotta decide whether or not you wanna kinda of leave it at this patch or you wanna put like just a little bit of um, black paint on it. So what I think I'm going to do, just to kind of give it a little bit of texture, we're going to use this acrylic paint. You only need a little bit, okay? This is by Master Touch. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and use that. And then I'm just gonna kind of go through, all right? And just touch it up in different areas, okay? Kind of go through here. And then once I do that, then we're gonna come back and you're gonna come back with just a little bit of water, okay? So you only need a tiny, tiny bit of this, all right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take just a little piece of tissue with a little bit of water on it and just kind of go through it. And yes, it's gonna go over your threads because you want it to kind of look old and kind of burnished a little bit, you know? So just kind of pull it over here, over here. And if you see through here, the more that you put, kind of makes the threads look a little older, okay? So, and then up through here, you kind of want that, that older look to it, especially around the sides here, okay? And then I just kind of go back in. There we go. Now, the coolest part about this, what we're gonna do afterwards, is we're going to put some glow in the dark, okay? So this glow in the dark right here, it says glow in the dark paint, all right? It's uh, deco art. Just kind of shake it up a little bit. And then we're just gonna put a little bit here on our brush. Oops. If it gets on here, it's not a big deal. It's gotta go over it anyways. So you can actually go back and forth over the top of it, okay? Kind of get it where you want it, you know, to glow. 
If you want the whole thing to glow, it can, you can use the whole thing and let it glow that way. All right, kind of pull it over here. I like to get in where the actual stitches are and around it because it's going to dry clear anyways. Oh. And you would just want to kind of get in there. Like I said, just make it look like it's kind of burnished a little bit. So then when you put it on the bottle, it kind of looks old. Okay, here's that. All right, so now, now we've got our patch, all right? See how cool that is? So now we got our patch. Now, what I'm gonna do is we're going to take an old Picardi bottle, still has a little bit in there, but this is to show you what we can actually do with it. So I'm gonna lay it down here. Now you can use an old wine bottle, you can use whatever you wanna use. I mean, it's totally up to you. Now my next YouTube video that I'm doing, um, what you what we're gonna do is it's gonna have like the bottle or there it's gonna be a little bit thicker, so it'll have some eyes on it and the bottle will be black. So what you're gonna do here, tie it to the back. If you want to, you can put a little bit of hot glue on it. That's totally up to you. Um, but you can tie it to the back here like this. Okay. And turn it over. Let me just show you here. And see how it's tied from the side to side. You got your little grommets on the side. You can have yourself just a little bit of witch's brew. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I am going to go ahead and do a second video of this one. However, the bottle will be a little bit bigger. So we're going to try it on a couple different ones. But this one came out really cool. Um, and also, it should glow in the dark. So let's go ahead and check and see if it glows in the dark. Okay, so it's a little too light right now for it to glow in the dark. So um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Let me get this little light back on so y'all see it. But uh, we all should have just a little bit of witch's brew. What do you think? And you have a good night.